check for advanced restart button as you can see it's not available here i am directly putting it recovery by pressing the volume up button and power button simultaneously if you have advanced restart button you can directly boot into recovery as you can see this is the twrp latest available for redmi note 9 pro max now going into once it's get it booted into recovery go to wipe section here and select advanced wipe and select this dalvik system vendor catch a measure metadata and data so if you have to wipe it done now go to install and select the firmware always first in global 12.5.1.0 flash it that's the latest available firmware for redmi note 7 pro once that has been flashed go to home section and select again install and select the rom zip file as i said i want to review this superior os in the previous video i said that well, i will get a little bit closer here as you can see it's a january 7th build it superior os 13 it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed the rom zip file has been flashed successfully go to home section here and select install and select this in dfe version 4 i have already shared this in telegram channel search and telegram samples you will get a channel with same name there i have posted the dfe4 once that has been flashed here go to home section and select here reboot and select the system this is how simple the flashing method of any custom roms on a redmi note 7 pro particularly here i am showing superior os 13 let's see in this video what all the things we get in this superior os i mean how is the benchmark results how is the battery life everything will be explained in detail regarding this particular rom stay tuned till the end of the video and here we go it's put it into superior os and let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampathy watching sampath samfix youtube channel and this is redmi note 7 pro custom rom reviews this is android version 13 you can see here it's nothing but superior os 13 release with january 5th 2023 latest secret patch on january 7th is the build date and kernel user is 4.14.212 azure discombobulated sir kernel has been used here saying status is enforcing and i have been running the cpu throttling test from 8 minutes 50 seconds and 8 milliseconds you can see on the screen the maximum is 173 average is 161 and minimum is 143 and it's throttled to 91 percent of its max performance which is cool in my opinion it's not great not even bad here and this is the typical home screen you get this is the pre-installed wallpaper and if i go into home settings this is the launcher used here as you can see you get these kind of customizations here in the home skin okay it got forced close i don't know what yeah you get this kind of customization and even icon pack also you can choose from here default is selected if want you can install from here for example as you can see you can find out them in the play store those things you can change from here which is good in my opinion some people like that kind of customization and widgets again you get all the android 13 widgets it's a material u design which was present from android 12 and it is keep on evolving until this android 13 which is good in my opinion and coming to quick settings panel it's also proper quick settings panel has been given here all the toggles are working fine here and the automatic brightness toggle is also included within the quick settings panel and settings and power button mode downwards and in the edit section you get these kind of other options if you want you can add them in the main quick screen quick settings panel and this how the uh, dialer you get here a direct video call feature is available and you can make calls and you can even record the calls here you get google dialer as a pre-installed dialer and some of the apps like android auto if i don't want it and you can also choose here i can pack from here and i can disable this app some of the apps you can disable some of them you can directly uninstall from this particular rom and there is this particular superior wallpapers if you want you can use them or if you want you can use any third party wallpapers application from play store that's always available starting with the android benchmark result you can see also the app opening time compared to other videos i mean other uh, roms the score is 2,63,944 and temperature raise was just 0 0.7 degrees celsius but battery drop is too much 10 percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing which is i don't think so 
yeah i kept for charging sorry because of that it is showing some mismatch number here but anyhow this is how the scores we get in this superior os 13 on redmi note 7 but now moving into geek pen scores here also you will be get amazed here with scores you can see single score 495 and multi score is 1466 single score could have been better around 500 or like that and even this one around 16 or 1700 and links 4.1 4.212 azure discombobulated plus kernel has been used here it's an android 13 build guys you can see here and DRM information also you can judge the app opening time l1 certification you can watch all the OTT application in high definition resolution that's not the problem in this room and you also get safety status get passed here as you can see you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use you can use them and google maps are also working fine the location is fine here and mobile internet connection like i have 100 mps fiber connection here it's pulling up to 90 to 95 mps even with mobile data connection also working fine no problem regarding that carrier aggregation support is included in this room no need to worry regarding that and while calling also there is no echo in the earpiece or any problems like that and you also get this kind of gallery application here you get these kind of options this is how pre-installed gallery if you want you can use any third party gallery now moving into actual settings you can see here this is how this are the settings panel which is smooth enough and easy to scroll no lag whatsoever you can see on the screen and if i move into like app settings you get these kind of options default apps you can choose from here special app access plenty of options you need to check out once you flash the rom you need to check out all these things notifications again you get special notification enhanced notification if you want you can disable or enable some of the settings from here and battery again you can see i kept for charging the charging speeds are also normal here nothing great or anything like that i use the 10 watt charger only i recommend to use the same only superior launcher has been pre-installed in this particular room the battery life is fine here nothing great or anything like that but it will not drain that much that's good thing it's not a draining or anything like that and low battery light blink led when battery is low and battery manager is there battery optimization per app you can choose from here battery saver again extreme battery saver is also included here which is good in my opinion now moving into some of the customizations like superior lab about team it has been mentioned and status bar again network traffic indicator if you want you can enable that hide network traffic indicator if it is unactive that's also fine if you don't using internet connection you can enable or disable from here which is good thing and some of the old style mobile data icons if you want you can enable them 4g icon if you want to enable them other styles like battery styles you get just few here you can use them i kept circle if you want you can change them or even you can hide it also clock position and ampm style and uh, auto hide options are also given in the quick settings now you can see vibrate and touch data usage button slider position and auto brightness icon you'll get from here navigation button again system navigation into gesture navigation there is option to increase the pill length but radius it's fine it's looking fine if you want you can go to traditional two button or three button navigation which all going to work fine no problem regarding that unlock screen again some of the customization media cover art if you enable that blur art level you can customize fingerprint authentication and error vibration both are given here and power menu again advanced restart button if you want you can enable that in the next video i'll show you how to flash the custom rom obviously with this using this advanced restart but and power menu as i said before and themes you get headline body font icon font and signal icon and wi-fi icon styles icon and navigation bar styles also you can customize from here notifications again a vibrate on color con waiting and disconnect you can enable or disable from here miscellaneous settings only you get ripple effect and this second flags if you want you can enable that you won't get any high fps count option or unlimited google photos to enable or disable but obviously you will get google photos uh, unlimited storage availability in this particular room that's fine uh, regarding that i will update in the comment section as of now i haven't know that and this game space is given if and you can add the games from here this is how the superior is settings and moving into some of the other settings like sound and vibration you get all the basic sound and vibration vibration and haptic feedback you can adjust from here and me sound enhancer direct sound settings are given just headphone type and preset here nothing hi-fi audio system or any dolby atmos support is not given in this particular room coming to display again here also simple if i enable the dark theme you can see there is a use pitch black theme which is good in my opinion just enable that it will looks pitch black condition as you can see 
now again if i disable that or tap tip brightness okay let me increase this okay extreme dim option is given if you want you can enable that dark theme i will disable that pitch black condition is available that's good thing night light again you can adjust the intensity and you can schedule it out tap to wake is given full screen apps if certain app is not playing in the full screen you can definitely use that like uh, ott application apps you just use this then the notch will be enabled no means it will play in some of the screen is not going to play that will be handy feature you need to definitely try and wallpaper sound style i already shown there is no wallpaper here not pressure but you'll get separate app to install some of the wallpapers and basic colors and wallpaper colors combination of colors has been implemented that's an added 13 feature themed icons has been not given upgrade you get up to 6 into 10 which are you want you can keep it out and security features you get face lock and fingerprint unlock if I go here there is no app locker but smart lock has been implemented here i'll show within a while because before that you can see accessibility menu settings as you can see this is a handy feature without using the actual physical buttons you can use the volume toggles and you can wake the assistance from here also you can use power button recent apps lock screen and even quick settings notification also you can take the screenshot from here which is a handy feature you can definitely use this i am going to use it if i flash this particular app. let me know in the comment section guys and if you are interested to see such, such kind of videos hit the subscribe button guys you will be seeing lot more videos regarding this redmi note 7 pro i mean the custom roms gcam everything regarding this redmi note 7 pro will be seeing soon and if you are first time to this channel hit the subscribe button guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new video you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like i will be motivated to make similar kind of videos switch access is given i already explained about this it's a handy feature timing control system controls and vibration haptics again it will revert back to sound settings caption preferences audio description is given audio adjustment we don't have any left and right adjustment we have just single speaker just keep it uh, from that that's it these are all the things you get location as i said google maps or everything working fine here is system you get updated here as you can see you also get updated once in a week once in a month once in a day you can choose from here delete updates when installed those things also given that's i really like it this are the superior is 13 for redmi note 7 pro if you have any specific questions ask me in the comment section and uh, that's it guys uh, i'll be showing the pubg mobile gameplay at the end as you can see these are the recent apps it's quite fast enough to use this and fingerprint unlock i want to show that as you can see it's very quick again just tap it gets unlocked now let's check the face unlock here recognizing face it's it's also fast enough to unlock your smartphone using the face unlock this how the uh, superior is 13 and regarding camera i want to show you get a nx camera here nothing like uh, the leica integration but all the features what we had in notes and pro those things are given here nothing fancy you get all the features working fine here no problem regarding that this how the superior case let's see pubg mobile gameplay i will install it you can see the graphics is just option you get smooth plus ultra only nothing extreme or 90 fps like that options but anyhow this hardware level support is just 60 that is not given here let's see how it handles at least as of now it's fine and the volume level i kept here it's uh, audible it's fine here the audio with speakers are fine as you can see it's handling fine here you can see rotating it if you know how to enable high fps count in this kind of games then it could be a gaming rom also that's good the performances the kernel the azure discombobulated plus kernel is good to handle day-to-day -day task and even this high-end games going to be good but don't expect or don't compare this with uh, some high-end chipset like 8 series chipset don't compare that gameplay and 90 fps gameplay that will have a little bit better 90 fps and uh, 8 series will have a lot more better gameplay 
also it depends on your internet connection guys while playing these kind of games you need to note that apart from that i am quite a happy here this is a superior os rom and regarding conclusion or verdict of this rom yes it's a daily driver rom those who are looking for better performance and better battery life and all the android 13 features then you can look it out this is a very good rom available for note 7 pro already made a pixel experience rom also here you get little bit of customization and little bit difference in the performance you can notice in this particular rom overall it's a very good rom for a redmi note 7 pro that's all guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now